Go check out buycheapfifacoins.com to get the best cheap coins around on the market. Use the discount code ROSSI for an extra discount off your coins. It's a fully automated service. You get your coins instantly. What more could you ask for? Now let's roll on to today's video. Hello guys, Mr. Austin 1990 here, and this is episode 149 of the Random Hybrid. First things first, if you can smash a like button, that'd be absolutely amazing. If we can get 1,000 likes, that would be brilliant. Also, subscribe if you are new to my channel. But also, if you can nail a like button, if we get 1,000 likes, like I've just said, I will do tomorrow's episode on FIFA 13 again for you. My god, my voice nearly cracked in the middle of that. FIFA 13, uh, you guys have been requesting it in the comments that I decided I do something special for the 150th episode. It was going to involve like a legend again, but if you want me to go on FIFA 13, that is... I can do that, definitely. I'm looking forward to that, actually. I did really enjoy uh, playing on FIFA 13 again. It's a little... It's, it's, it's just feels good. It really does. Going back and playing FIFA 13 does feel very, very good. A lot of people also requested that I do it on FIFA 15. But unfortunately, guys, that's not out yet. So I would if I could. But yeah, not too sure why people are saying that in the comments. But yeah. Also, I want to apologize about one thing. My intro. Um, I am looking into changing it. But at the moment, it's quite difficult for me to find someone to be able to do that for me. Obviously, I can't do it myself. I'm not very good with the whole editing side of thing. Or that kind of extreme editing. But um, I do apologize about the volume levels. I don't know what it is. But I'd never changed the volume level on my intro. But for some reason, on some videos... It seems a lot louder than it should be. And I really do apologize for that because it is quite loud and can get an annoying intro. And I am looking into changing it, but I get a lot of comments about that basically every video. So far, I'll chuck it in the side of this video so you guys can get an understanding of I am I am looking into changing it. So apologies, just stick with me. And uh, we'll hopefully, hopefully have it resolved very soon. But yes, we're going to be using second informed Di Natale for this episode. I've been waiting for that card to come out ever since he scored the hat trick. I thought, yes, I was going to use his first informed. And I thought, why use his first informed when his second informed is quite clear? going to appear and that would be a you know potentially better card but we're going to go for page four player 10 and hopefully we can get somebody quite decent to link up with Dina Tale. does look like a very special card indeed obviously the BBVA um, team of season is out at the moment as well as a bunch of man of the match cards and um, I will be using them very shortly but I want to use Dina Tale because I've got a respect for the chap who we're going to have then one two three four five six seven eight nine Okay, okay, Filippo Inzaghi, my friends. He is actually Italian, so that isn't too bad in a way, because obviously he'll link with Di Natale. Um, he is he is borderline the worst legend on the game, stats on card-wise. His stats are quite poor on card, actually, and there was that thing where I think is he compared to like, Danny Welbeck, and Danny Welbeck's actually got better stats. I think it might be him, not 100% sure, but I haven't really used him before, so he doesn't seem too expensive either, so that's good for me, um, you know, Coins wise, but yeah, that's cool. We can use Inzaghi, Inzaghi, and Di Natale up front together. Holy shit! It's a good Italian strike force right there. But we're going to move over to the next player. Hopefully, we can get um, more of a defensive option because you know what legends are like linking into teams. It can get quite frustrating. But 76k, 4 and 10 is going to be the same number again. So we've got Di Natale, we've got Filippo Inzaghi. I'm thinking maybe Zola and Cam if I can make that happen. But hopefully this isn't a cam or an attacking option. Fingers crossed. It's two away from the end. Who's it going to be? Boom. Okay. Navas. Which Navas is that? Is that his highest rated in form? I think it might be. I think he's only got the one. That's fine. That's absolutely perfect, actually. Um, yeah, that's ideal. That is I freaking deal. So we can probably get away with using Zola. And I really want to use Zola. I'm thinking 3-5-2. I'm thinking a solid base. Also, chuck in here while I'm here. I have done a million coin pack opening. You probably... You might be wondering. I normally upload it before this video, but I'm not sure whether to upload it. If you want to see it, let me know. But basically, I didn't pack a single team of the season in it. I got, uh, I think, five informs. You know what the informs are like this week. None of them are really crazy good. I didn't get Di Natale, unfortunately. Um, but um, I also packed a Man of the Match card. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. I can upload it, but it's not going to be as good you know, a feeling as me getting a team of the season. I did actually get a couple of really good cards. I got like an 88 raid. I got a couple of 86 raids as well. So not a bad pack opening, but nowhere near as good as me packing a blue. And I normally only really show you pack openings unless they're completely live um, if I get a blue. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. But we're going to be back in two seconds when we've made the hybrid round. Navas, Inzaghi, and big boy Di Natale. So I'll see you in two. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, we're rocking the 3-5-2 formation. It just works well with this team. So I thought, why the hell not? We've got Jesus Navas in the right mid position. 100k on the dot for him in form. 
Fantastic card. I've used him before. Uh, he works well as a winger. I haven't actually really used him in right mid, though. So I don't know what he'll be like defensively. Uh, sometimes you have to track back in this kind of formation. But, you know, as a winger, obviously, he's pace and dribbling. And he's very good with his skill moves. Um, he's a good passer as well. So looking forward to using him and seeing what he's like in Zagi. 160k. Go on with that Hunter chemistry style. But like I said, his stats on card don't really impress me at all. Literally really, really poor stats on card, but we'll give him a go, whereas this guy has got incredible stats on card. You can see that 88 pace, 92 shooting, 91 dribbling. Fantastic. What a legend. I bow down to you, my friend. 140k pay for him. This is on the first day of him being released. He'll probably drop in price immensely from that. He'll go down below 100k, I'd imagine, which will be an absolute snatch. Even though I haven't played with him, I can just imagine how good he is going to be with this team. I may have shot myself in the foot with this team because... It is a full in form, full team of the season, full legend, full man of the match card team, whatever you want to call that type of team, full. It's got no basic card, basically. They're all something. We'll start off with the goalkeeper, and it is going to be in form Joe Hart. Now, I haven't used his in form at all this year. Only cost 62k at the moment as well, which isn't too bad for an in form player. Um, with his caliber, obviously, his regular card is very much OP in this game. So I'm looking forward to using him. The centre back pairing we've got is going to be Company and Koscielny. Um, Two fantastic centre-backs in their own. We've got company team of the season, 215k, absolute snatch. 91 rated card, obviously gets a link with Navas for playing for the same team. And they've got Koscielny here, 47 250 for him. He's a little bit hyped at the moment, obviously, because they just won the FA Cup and he had a really good game, really solid game, scored a goal as well in that game. So I think all Arsenal players have slowly risen in price a little bit since then, especially Ramsey, um, from what I know anyway. But we've got that little trio there. And you may as well chuck in the CDM while we're here. It's actually going to be Morgan Schneiderlin. Now, this card... He's actually really impressive. 24k pay for him. He's in the most consistent, I think, team of the season. And he's a very, very good card in game. I Trust me on that. I've used him before. And he is very, very good. Now, the reason we've gone with him is because then he links off into the Serie A with my main man, Pogba. Now, Pogba, I have now packed. Yes! I packed him on this account, which is absolutely amazing. Because originally, I bought him. I sold the one I bought. And I freaking packed this bad boy. And I'm going to keep him forever because he is my baby. He is absolutely outstanding. Probably my favorite player in the game. He's got higher overall stats than in our oh, team, team of the season. Yaya Torre, I want to say. I think I think Bale has got the most. I think Rude, I think he's above Rude Hullet. Unbelievable card. Fantastic. And now the player he's going to link off with is going to be Chiellini's team of the year. Team of the season, sorry. 142k. He's got that medium high defensive work rate. Left foot option. So he's over on that left side, which will work out quite well in my opinion. Now left mid we're going to go for is going to be Man of the Match Insigne. Now I really love this card. Really, really love this card. As soon as he was released, I wanted to get buying him. He only cost me 57k. I have no idea what he sells for at the moment. But my God, is he a joy to play with. Uh, left wing is my preferred position for him, but left mid in this formation may work out. And then the cam we've got is actually going to be a legend card. And it's going to be a legend card I think I told you I was going to be using. And it's going to be Zola. He gets a perfect chemistry link with Inzaghi and obviously gets an Italian link with good old Di Natale. He'll sit there quite nicely. 287k pay for him is an absolute bargain in my opinion for a legend card. So that is a team. As you can see, there is no regular player in that team. We've got Inform. We've got Team of the Season. We've got Man of the Match. We've got Legend. And we've just got all-round immense team. But now, if Handicap exists, I would imagine I'm going to get bitch slapped by any team I come up against. But hopefully, this team will play well. It's got everything you want. It's got very strong defenders with good work rate. It's got two CDMs who are powerhouse. Wingers who are quick. Cam, who is an absolute maestro. And then two strikers who can finish. And good pace on them. Well, yeah, good pace and shooting, I'd imagine. But that is a team of Lord's glory. But if you made a different team, let me know in the comment section below by going on foot and foot whiz and telling me what you would have gone and chosen. You maybe would have gone down a different route, chosen different players. It's entirely up to you what you pick. And uh, let me know in the comment section below. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already as well. And I'm going to be back in two seconds when we found ourselves our opponents. I'll see you then. Okie dokie. This is the team we've come up against. It is a standard uh, Serie A team, but these teams are so OP. He's got Rossi as a striker in cam, so chemistry might be a little bit low on him, but he is getting very strong links all round, so not really too sure what kind of chemistry he's getting, but Fridge! Hopefully we don't get handicapped, and hopefully we can do well in this game. It's raining, so yeah, let's do this. Right, get out of the way. Bull Pogba. Di Natale. Di Natale's got lucky here. Dino Tali's got a hell of a lucky so far. Dino Tali's still going. Dino Tali's played a little cheeky ball over. Who is it? It's Navas. What's he given? What's he actually given here? Or is it a penalty or a free kick? Or 
What? He's kind of slid, and my guy's kind of walked into it. He's given a penalty for that, hasn't he? What the fuck? That's a weird as hell penalty claim. Really, really is. We've got Dina Tai stepping up. Fate. We're going to go big to left. Big, 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 big to left. Oh, too much for the goalkeeper, Dina Tale. Perfection penalty. 1-0. Not really too sure how it's a penalty, but I understand a little bit because he slid in, not got the ball. My guy's kind of like walked into the tackle more than anything. But we'll take a cheap penalty. We will take that. 1-0. Oh, sh... Oh, insignia, mate. You beaut. Oh, he was just running through. It's freaking Morgan Schneiderlin. He ain't got enough pace to get up there. That's another penalty. What the fuck? Thank Christ, I didn't think Morgan Schneiderlin was going to have enough to freaking shoot. That could be a red card as well, you know. He's last man. He's basically right in front of the goalkeeper. And... We've got two penalties, lads. Two quite cheap ones. Di Natale stepping up for potentially a second goal. And it's another penalty. I'm going to have to change it up for this one. What are we going to do? He's calm as you like. Di Natale is calm as you like. Shoot and scores. Fantastic penalty. Put it right where the goalkeeper was standing. Had a fear he was going to move. But get in. We made it 2-0. And it's a Di Natale penalty show so far. Bit of a low moment, but we'll take it. 2-0. Game out. Oh, exactly. He's nicked in. But there's Schneidlin. Sinzaki. You're going to wait for a run. We're going to get that run from Jesus Navas. It's Dina Tale. Oh, he's still got it. He's still got it. Dina Tale. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a goal. What an absolute worldie. He has completed his hat trick in the most sensational fashion known to man. What a card. Look at this. I thought I'd fucked up the chance. Opens it up with one of them fake shots around him. What a finesse that is to put it free now. I feel a rage quit coming on. I feel it good. Let's get another goal for halftime. Come on. Schneidlin. Oh, it's a cracking ball from Schneidlin. It's Inzaghi. He sold one. He sold two. Flippo Inzaghi. That is better. That is absolutely fantastic. The simpleness of a ball roll completely sells two of his defenders. I would not be surprised at all if this guy rage quits at halftime. I've been absolutely smashing him. This is a really nice little cheeky finish. Two ball rolls. Defenders getting nowhere near him. That's almost as bad as my defending. Four freaking nil. And he's pissed. Okay, that is half time. We are 4-0 to the good. Di Natale picking himself up an absolutely beautiful hat trick. And then Inzaghi showing that he is a legend card and he can score goals. But I'm honestly feeling this guy may be rage quit. He's getting a little bit stressed, you can tell. He's shooting from long range, shooting from kickoff. Di Natale, two penalties, uh, two iffy penalties. I probably would have been a little bit pissed if they were against me. But we've been dominating the game, in my opinion. We've been having a good, good time. But second half, let's try and get eight. Game on. The entire side off well. Low. Here's Di Natale. He's getting mugged off a little bit. He's showing why he's boss. Di Natale will get his fourth. That is sublime. That is why he is a god. A legend. The best. Di Natale. Fucking yes. Brilliant player. Gets a little bit of luck here. Not going to lie to you. I was meant to do a roulette there and it didn't pay out. And then the shot wasn't the best of shots from him. But it gets the net. It finds the net even. So that's what Di Natale is all about. 5-0. Suck my balls. Here he is again. He wants more. Oh, please. Oh, just move out my way. Di Natale. Yes. Fucking five. He scored five. This guy is unreal. I've never felt this kind of brilliance in the game since I used Robin that time. And I think he scored like six for me in the game. Might have been five as well. But Di Natale, take a boo, my friend. Take a boo. That looks like it is the end of the game. Couldn't quite get a double hat trick for Di Natale. But I'm still very much over the moon with the fact that he scored five in the game where we included him. What a player. Absolute joy to play with. He doesn't cost that much as well. Like I said, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Two, which were which were a penalty. And then Inzaghi, I keep calling him Insigni. Inzaghi picked up the other goal. 6 0 win. That is impressive for this team. The handicap didn't feel like it existed. Thank God. I finally managed to play with a team and have some fun. And look at some of the ratings they got. 
you know, a lot of people have been telling me to uh, review the team after it, so I'll go through each and every single player. Joe Hart, how many saves did he make? Three saves. Like I said, wasn't really needed. To be fair, I dominated this game quite considerably. He saved what he had to save. Didn't see the goal, which is obviously fantastic. Even a clean sheet. The three centre-backs, joy, worked so well together. That's the reason why I didn't see the goal. Then four at the back, Chiellini, um, Koscielny, Company, and Hart. Didn't really have a lot to do, but when they did need to do it, they did exactly what they're there to do. The two CDMs, Pogba and Schneidlin, worked exactly how I would imagine them to work. Boss in that midfield and then pulling away. Uh, Pope had a few opportunities to score. Apparently he didn't score this time. He normally scores when he appears in my random hybrid insignia. Was pace and he was linking well with Di Natale. Navas the same. He was very much pacey. Didn't do as much as insignia in the game. Zola, like I said, maestro in that can roll. He was a joy. Di Natale, what can you say about the chap? Fantastic player in this game. Really is really, really good. And if you remember Mickley from the previous FIFAs. Them two up front together, probably one of the best strike forces you could have ever had. Insigni, uh, sorry, Inzaghi, I keep calling him Insigni, it's really annoying me now. Inzaghi actually was really, really decent. Started the game quite poorly, missed a really good chance to score, and I uh, thought, wow, oh, God, this is all going to go tits up. But got into the game, scored a really nice solo effort, and um, was just a joy to play with. Who scored the goals? You can see five, Di Natale, and one for Inzaghi. The assists came from various positions, Inzaghi, Insigni, Schneidlin and Navas picking up them. You know, pretty impressive. What did his his team get on the match ratings? As you can see, his goalkeeper got his highest match rating. That'll pretty much tell you the story, doesn't it? He made 12 saves. He denied Di Natale a lot more goals. So we can have a quick look at the actual overall stats. You can see five shots, one of which was on target. If you look where his shots came from, though, you know, they weren't really troubling. A lot, all of his shots were outside the box. One of them was literally the halfway line, straight from kickoff. We dominated the game, even though we still had more possession. I have no idea how that has actually happened, because we obviously dominated that game. 24 shots, 15 of which hit the target, 6 of which hit the back of the net. So that is the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. My actual favourite player on the team, obviously, was Di Natale. He was a standout player. Absolutely amazing. If you've got the coins, I would recommend go trying him out. Maybe leave it a couple of days so his price lowers down. He's obviously a fresh new Team of the Week player. Even his regular card. So just give him a go if you haven't already. He is an absolute joy to play with. He's got that four-star skill and his four-star weak foot. He's got the immense shot on him. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have a like, it would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. Leave in the comments a suggestion of who you'd like to see in the next episode would you like me to use nobody at all and go straight for the free random players or would you like to see a certain player of your choice let me know in the comment section below and i'll have a read of the comments and we'll decide together who we should use but hopefully you have enjoyed the video have a nice day i'll see you next time Bye bye boom